Okay, welcome everybody. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here for this uh, update on the LIGO project. Um, I'm going to start by reading a quote from this book, which if you're a physicist you know, it's the phone book, Meissner, Thorne, and Wheeler. Chapter 37 was written by Kip, and it's called Detection of Gravitational Waves. All right. And the quote at the beginning says, is from Lord Kelvin, and it says, I often say that when you can measure and you, uh, what you are speaking about and express it in numbers, you know something about it. But when you cannot measure it, when you cannot express it in numbers, your knowledge is of a meager and unsatisfactory kind. It may be the beginning of knowledge, but you have scarcely in your thoughts advanced the stage of science. So the quest for the detection of gravitational waves really has its geographic center in Pasadena. Uh, although the theory of the, uh, that led to the prediction of gravitational radiation is 100 years old, and there was pioneering work by a physicist named Joe Weber at the University of Maryland. Uh, he started to think about how you might detect gravitational radiation, and he thought about having an aluminum bar, and could gravitational waves make that bar oscillate? But it was Kip Thorne when he came here and started thinking about this in the early 70s that realized you really needed an interferometer. The signals would be so weak uh, that the bar technique would not work. And so he recruited a guy named Ron Drever to Caltech to start developing the detectors, the interferometric uh, detectors, and they partnered with Ray Weiss from MIT, and the idea of LIGO was born. So uh, Kip's, the same chapter 37 in Kip's book ends with a quote uh, that Kip wrote, the technical difficulties to be surmounted in constructing such detectors are enormous, but physicists are ingenious, and with the impetus provided by Joe Weber's pioneering work, and with the support of a broad lay public sincerely interested in pioneering in science, all obstacles will surely be overcome. Now, when Kip wrote that, he knew that you had to measure displacements to 10 to the minus 18 of a meter. So some people called this visionary. But over the 25 years, many called it insane. So I'm glad to be able to, uh, for us to watch the update on the detection of gravitational radiation. So we, we have many people from the LIGO team at Caltech here in Hamitman. I'd like you to stand and be recognized. So this, this is really your day, and we're incredibly proud of you. I also want to say that it took uh, a lot of work to take crazy ideas from a few physicists to reality. And I just want to recognize the people who helped get LIGO going and turned it into a professional project, uh, starting with Robbie Vogt, the former, a former division chair and provost. And Barry Barish, who uh, and Jay Marks, who were and uh, Gary Saunders, who were all instrumental in getting us to this day. And so, without further ado, I'd like to turn it over to our own president, Tom Rosenbaum, who is going to give you his thanks. Uh, what, a, what a spectacular morning. Uh, Richard Feynman said of Einstein that he was a giant. His head was in the clouds, but his feet were on the ground. 
but those of us who are not that tall have to choose. <laughs> Today, LIGO connected the heavens and the earth. Through three decades development here on earth of exquisitely sensitive instrumentation, pushing the capacity of human imagination, we are able to glimpse cosmic processes that were previously undetectable. The merging of two black holes is a cataclysmic event, providing for an instant power, as you heard, of course, or as you know better than I, instant power output 50 times out of the whole visible universe. And yet it could only be detected through gravitational signatures. It is truly the start of a new era in astrophysics. Caltech thrives on posing fundamental questions and inventing new instruments to answer them. LIGO represents an exhilarating example of how this approach can transform our knowledge of the universe. We are proud to partner with NSF and MIT and our other scientific collaborators to lead this effort, and most of all, to thank you and to share this moment with you. So I look forward to the next detections. Thank you.